Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to walk through step by step how to identify blind school injection on URI parameter. Now, before we dive in, just a quick note make sure you have proper permission before testing any website. This is strictly for educational purposes, and I'm just here to show you how it works. All right, let's get started. First things first, let's check out the website's interface. There's a search bar right here, so um, let's try searching something to see if we get any text reflection. When I type test, you can see it shows up on the page. Awesome. That's a good sign, so um, let's keep going. Now, let's start with something simple, like a quick XSS test, just to see if it's vulnerable. And uh, look at that, we got an XSS pop-up. Easy win there. All right, next, let's put in a single quote to see if we trigger any school errors. Perfect. We get a syntax error, which is um, a strong indicator that school injection might be possible. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Our main focus is the URI parameter. So let's drop a single quote there and check for an error again. Awesome. We got the same SQL syntax warning here too. Now, to get a bit more context on the website's backend, let's open up the Wapalizer extension. It shows that this site is um, built on PHP, which is often known to have school vulnerabilities. Okay, so now let's take this a step further. I'll try an XOR payload on the URI parameter to see if there's any noticeable delay in response. Keep an eye on the timing, I'll use Chrome's developer tools. Just press F12, go to the network tab and refresh the page. Cool, now we can see all the network traffic details. Let's look at our request with the XOR payload. And um, check it out, we have an 11 second delay in the response. All right, now I'll change that delay from 10 seconds down to zero and refresh the site. Look at that, now we're getting an almost instant response. Just to double check, let's try setting the delay to five seconds and see if it changes. And yep, we got a 5 second response time, which really confirms it's um, time-based blind skull injection. Now, let's verify this using curl. Run the same command with the URL endpoint and um, let's check for the delay. All right, as you can see, we got around a four second delay, which confirms our findings. Let's set it back to zero one more time to make sure. And there it is, instant response. Also, just to be thorough, let's change up the URI path a bit. And sure enough, we still get a consistent delay. Now it's time for the exploitation part. For our proof of concept, I'll be using Gori, which is um, an awesome tool for testing time-based blind school injection, especially with XOR payload. So we'll start by putting a wildcard in the URI path, set the DBMS type and technique since we know it's time-based, and because XOR payloads work well with MISQL. This helps make our results more accurate. Now, just to stay within platform guidelines, I'm only going to show the banner and minimal details. For full bug reporting, you can use the DBS flag to fetch database information. Alright, let's go ahead and run the tool. And here we go. It's detected my tool as the backend DBMS. I'm going to speed things up a bit here so we don't have to wait too long. And there it is. We got a positive school vulnerable response. Now let's copy this payload with the URL and test it one last time with a curl, just to make sure it's not a false positive. And perfect, that's an accurate result, which means it's confirmed. If you can't retrieve the full database, this is still solid confirmation. Now we'll wait for the banner and current database information to come in.
And all right, we got the results. This is something you can now responsibly report to the site owner. By the way, if you're new here, um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos with even more advanced techniques. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.